God, I got a bad feeling about this. If it wants to leave, then... Then I'll give it to you. I can hear them. I can see them all around here. The shadows. Oh, he says... I'm sorry. This is the sewer, right? Um, the shrine under the sewer. No one just scared. No one just scared. Please, 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 please. please. It, oh, oh, oh. Oh, so we're back to the future. Oh God, no. So from there, um, so let's see, um, from my deduction, uh, the mask is some, um, the mask is somehow, um, related to the dog and the, the girl, Reina, I think she had died before Ito killed her, before that case, and when she died, uh, she wore the mask. And that's what happened to Tanaka that she, uh, when she's under the curse of that mask, she cannot die. So, and the duck is, uh, will keep hunting her until she find a replacement, in this case Tanaka. So she made Tanaka uh, wear the mask and, and then kill him in the process so that the mask or the duck can later hunt Tanaka instead of um, Reina. But my deduction can be proof if we see Tanaka alive, still alive here. Because uh, Reina slit his throat. So if, sh if he somehow come back alive, that can be a proof to my point. Now let's see our spin chart. Neurosis is minus 7. So we don't have much of a um, backup for taking the... No, no, no. Taking the pill only decreases the investigation, right? But Neurosis can somehow uh, somehow help us with our sanity. So, yeah. Look at you sleeping there. Not a care in the world. At least you're alright. I don't know what I would do if both you and Kazuki... Oh my god, this is depressing. No, I can't think like that. There's more to all this and too many unanswered questions. Indeed. I'll get to the bottom I'll get to the bottom of it. Manage to salvage a normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. Big pill. Um let's see. Our sanity is minus three four. Yeah I can take another pill. The pills that the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kazuki left them. Count on him to pester me about my health even when he's gone. I hate these pills. I'll keep taking them for your sake. Damn, you really need to sleep, girl. Look at that top. Also, close that TV, you're wasting electricity. <laughs> A violent incident in the sewer below the streets of Shinjuku in the late hours last night has resulted in the death of a detective in an apparent rescue gone wrong. The body of Detective Kazuki Tanaka, 29, was, was recovered last night after a nearly week-long search when he went missing off of the streets of Kasumi Gaseki. The mysterious incident has left the police scrambling for answers and a suspect. As the investigation continues into its second day, the detective who arrived first on the scene, Ayamito, has declined to make any comment to the press, but her superiors say that after following a lead, she was led into the sewers where she made contact with a lone female suspect. At that time, sources say 
the female suspect panicked and the incident ended violently before she could be apprehended. There are many unanswered questions, however. It appears that besides the lone detective, there were no other police on the scene, calling into question how the case was handled. There is also a question of the missing suspect and why, after Detective Tanaka was killed, the suspect was not able to be restrained. This case comes to the midst of increasing scrutiny on the police, in particular the violent crime section, as other incidents of police neglect or questionable investigative practices have been made public. Several experts have gone on record saying that Tokyo's police are not equipped to handle the recent wave of crime. Supernatural cases? Not so much. <laughs> the police have promised to release the results of their internal investigations as soon as possible. Superintendent Yukimura, who was in charge of both Detective Tanaka and Ito, has urged his department and the public at large to hold judgment until all the facts are in. I've heard all I've heard a lot of rumors surrounding this case, but we are barely a few hours into understanding what happened down there. I think it's too early to jump into conclusions. An article from two weeks ago. Okay, that's huh, time passed, huh? Everything in it is laid out so neat and factual and makes it seem so simple. It's like that all happened to someone else. Like the Ito on the page is a different person from some other world. Yet it's not. That's what happened to me. Or so they say. Yorika barely mentions the girl, the bloody bag. Or the red paint. How can they write that like it's true? The press will try to simplify any story to sell papers. Like Azuki always said. Other things about that night don't add up either. After backup finally did arrive, they couldn't find any trace of the girl. Fingerprints on the red paint were inconclusive and the knife at the scene was clean too. That's why that's what they told me, but there's no way that can be true. What really happened down there? Go to bedroom. I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of that night always come flooding back wherever I do. Oh no. Sometimes I think I can hear his voice just beyond the door and then when I open it, I'll see him there finding these last few weeks to just be a bad dream but it's no dream he's gone I don't know what hurts more the fact that he's gone or the way it happened taken by a girl who shouldn't exist you know that was her name I remember a few days after the sewer but kept it to myself at a debrief, they had me talk to a station psychiatrist and one look from her was enough to figure out what everyone else must be, think must be thinking. The police reports, the press, no one's mentioning the girl. But I saw what I saw. If she came back then, maybe... If I could only get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate the scene myself, I'm sure I could find something to prove she was there. I doubt they will let me anywhere near it though, at least for now. One way or another, I'll find the truth. Okay, answer door. Hey, I brought you some dinner. Konnichiwa. Thanks, Ayumi. Ah, pff, Ayumi, that's her. Uh, no, no, no. Never mind. Thanks, Yumi. Didn't have to do that. You need to eat something, never. Can't just sit around all day, right? I know that. It's just. It's alright. Don't have to thank me. I just. I. I'm not good with this stuff. But, Ayami, I'm. I'm really sorry. About Kozuki, I mean. I know that he meant a lot to you, and I didn't know him very well, but. Stop! Just stop! You don't... I'm sorry, Yumi. I didn't mean it. Forget it. Forget I say anything. 
I'm sorry I snapped at you. I guess it's all been a bit too much. No, oh my god. That was a big one, huh? I, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I know we're not best friends or anything. I was just worried, is all. Sorry, Yumi, that's my phone. Work again? Yes, I didn't know when we were talking. Yeah, maybe. I have to take this. And you, me? Thanks for the food. Anytime. Hi. It was here. <coughs> I don't know how, to, how I'm gonna do this first. <coughs> Excuse me. Ito, I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. I, um, I need you to come into the station as soon as you can. What's, what's this about? It'll be easier if we talk in person. See you soon. I just covered my mouth with uh, my face so I can at least do this voice. Yep, that works. <laughs> so we got security camera, this police car? Look. I've worked with Saki Ishibashi for years now and she hasn't changed a bit. Her hard work and pleasant smile are only matched by her love of gossip. Oh, of course. I don't have any other voice! <sighs> oh, hey Ito! Nope, that doesn't change at all. <laughs> ah, screw it! <laughs> Didn't think we'd see you back so soon. Well, ready or not, I'm here. I, um, about what happened. It's alright, Saki. You don't need to say anything. You're just so awful. And I know you two were close. I mean, I heard. Yeah, we were. But seriously, you can leave it alone. I'm fine. If you say so. But I'm glad you've been so positive. No matter what people say, I know you care about him. And did everything you could to save him. Thanks, Aki. Wait, what exactly are people saying? Um, I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up since we are friends. There have um, been some rumors about what happened to Na Tanaka. Rumors? What kind of rumors? Well, that's... Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't want to upset you. I'll with it, Saki. We both know you can't keep something like that to yourself for long, so you might as well tell me now. Fine. But you didn't hear it from me, okay? On account of all the bad press surrounding Tanaka, the higher-ups are looking for someone to pin this all on. Someone close to the case, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I understand it just fine. Officer Bando... Bando? Officer Bando told me earlier that Tyra was posting about some promotion and then I saw some movers going into your office on the CCTV earlier. I just... it doesn't look good is all. Tyra? That guy needs a swift punch to the back. Th that guy needs a swift punch to the back of the head sooner than he needs a pro promotion. And movers in my office? This is too much. See, I told you you'd be upset. It's not all definite though. All I know for sure is that I've seen some I've seen on the monitors and what Bandos told me. Oh, hold on a sec. Who's officer? Who's officer Bando? That's not some alias to come up with, is it? I only tried that with you one time and you figured it out right away. Bando transferred in from Osaka a few weeks ago and he's still a sweetheart. Sometimes he comes and talks to me at the front desk when he's free. Huh. Did he say anything else about Tyra's mysterious promotion? Hmm, not that I remember. All I know is he's been on the fourth floor doing some legwork for the detectives lately and overheard it. If I run by my office, maybe I'll see this officer Bando and ask him myself. Hey, that reminds me, if you see him, can you give him this? <laughs> Girl! I'm in this press mood and you asked me to do something like this. Alright, what is it? I don't think the frog drawing follows standard police procedure. <laughs> do you like it? He's cute, right? See, I'm trusting you with this because it's more of a private thing. 
You give it to him though, right? <laughs> I wonder if I do this, my professionalism will go down. And my professionalism is way down already. Minus 21. Should do or should not? Should do or should not? Um, what do you think, Shakazal? Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Saki. I don't have time. I got somewhere I need to be. Oh, now we're in stand. Duty calls, right? Yay, professionalism. Plus. Guess we better head up to your camera's office sooner. <laughs> so you know about that too, huh? Thanks for keeping up to date, Saki. Okay, talking about the CCTV. I see you haven't slowed down in your viewing habits, Saki. Well, they do pay me to keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. It's not my fault if I happen to notice some other stuff at the same time. <laughs> like that detective Ikeda always fixes her hair before she sees Detective Suzuki. Why that officer Sato takes off for waiting for me to the kill thing. <laughs> anyway, I have to be careful. Yukimura says if anything happens on my watch that he will make me pay for it. Nothing, nothing. Ask about Officer Pando. So what's the story with you and the new guys? Any letters say exactly your usual subtle tactics, Saki? Are they hard? Very funny. <laughs> this one's different. He seems like a keeper. And it's not half bad looking to boot. I mean, I'm almost 25. I'm practically an old woman. <clears throat> if I don't find someone soon and settle down, I'll die alone. <sighs> Even listening to you stresses me out, Saki. I'm sure your prospects are fine. And yep, so far so good. And deliver. Um, look, look, everything's look. Press button. Basement. Evidence storage and forensic is in the basement. Reception level. Saki's so probably sitting there on my chair and you. Uh, so this is like uh, American American lift, huh? like the first floor. The first floor is first floor, not um, ground floor. Investigative units officers. Then I can have officers on this floor. Look, you can office right at the top. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm gonna stream for like. Another 50 minutes and then we'll go for about 20 minutes of break. So around 7.20 I'll be coming back. Hopefully. <clears throat> Sorry to have called you in like this, Ito. I know we promised you some time off after the whole rotten situation. I meant to talk to you earlier but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. It's been a media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters were waiting for any excuse they could to go for our throats and they found it. Then the deputy chief starts calling me, then the chief. Hell, got a call from mayor last night. All of them want this case soft and out of mind. <laughs> if he was here to see it, then I could be furious at all the bureaucracy. Can't even count the number of times he yelled at me after similar speeches I made to him. He was a good man. Yes. Yes sir, he was. Let's cut to the chase. With every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor's demanding a formal inquiry on your conduct. Now, before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done better in your shoes. The whole thing was rotten, if you ask me. Unfortunately, there are no do there are no do overs in police work, and even choices that seem right at the time can turn around and bite us later on. It's not only you. I made a mistake that night sending you in alone. I'll pay for that. Keep an eye on, keep an eye on your professionalism. Using the spin system from time to time. Don't give those vultures anything to pick at. Professional. My professionalism is sixteen, so I'm not convinced. But I'm still professional, so yeah. It's not just about the inquiry, though. I'm concerned about you and the choices you make, professional or otherwise, have far-reaching effects in the future. The people who will work with you and trust you, the options you will have available to you 
are all hinged on your ability to keep a personal face. One more thing, given the circumstances, we think it's best to transfer you out of the violent crime department for the time being. Transfer, but sir, I don't understand. Well, girl, if I'm in your shoes, I might just take it. Go for the thief or something. But the mess probably will hunt me. I've already done twice the amount of food as some of the veterans, and I've only been in the unit for a few years. Surely my record, sh surely my record should speak for itself. I mean, let's at least talk about it first. This isn't a negotiation tactic. Think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. For the next month, you'll continue to be on leave, fully paid, of course. Of course, I'll need you. I'll need to take your badge until you return. The gun you can turn it downstairs. When you come back, you'll be helping out with some of the vice and the insurance fraud cases. That's boring. As another detective will be moving into your place, we'll need to clear out your office. Uh, what's his name? Um, the the promotion, the about to be promotion guy. You remember Shikoza? As another detective will be moving into your place, we'll need to clear out your office. I've asked the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make myself clear, Ito? <laughs> What's his name? There's monstrous Christ Christ to your all hat. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, sir, understood. Hey, professional zip stand. That's good. <laughs> sir, I understand the decision, but surely this move should only be temporary? That's enough, it take. There's enough, it take. Oh, no. Okay, then. On a second thought, I might be the same head as. Ito. Until the tenure hearing about your case is complete, there will be no further discussion of this. Now, please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. The rest stays with us. And Ito, take care of yourself. Um, no wandering left to right, right? <laughs> Press button, look, press button, look, press button, and press button, so... Can I just leave with my badge and guns? <laughs> hey Ayami, you sure got back here fast, can I help you? No, I don't think so, just wanted to see your face. Alright then, I'll see you around, okay? Nope, I cannot leave. Hey. Okay, let's go hand in the pistol first. I need to go back to my office and get my head together before I start wandering around the station. Oh, great. <laughs> my neurosis is not good. My neurosis is not good. It's my spirally. Press button. So this is a uh, crime investigation floor. Oh my god! Uh, probably this guy. No. All right then. There you go, Tyra. Hey, Ito, hold up. <laughs> <clears throat> I heard you were back in the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one great detective. You're right. He was the best. Almost hard to believe he let himself get caught the way he did. I mean, it's weird, right? Goes missing. I can't manage to contact anyone even once. I thought he would have tried to get in touch with you, at least since you were his partner and all. Oh, oh, okay. He's not as and as food as I thought he would be. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ito. 
it was done to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it, there's no way you could have handled that on your own. Mm, which one should increase my professionalism better? You have done better? Playing something? I'll go for playing something. Trying to play something? Trying to play something about me, Tyra? Who? Me? <laughs> nah. But what you do? Uh, but what do you, you expect when they send a little detective in all by herself? All I'm saying is you could have used the help. Look. Sometimes a Kuzman comes to 10 hoping that when I open them, Tyro will disappear. Unfortunately, that tactic hasn't worked yet. I have a suggestion. Take the mask, give it to him, kill him. <laughs> I once partnered with Detective Ignita and was surprised by how competent he was. If he didn't attach himself at the head of Tyra, to Tyra, he could probably make a good detective. Oh, keep back. An alarm for fires, earthquakes, and other emergencies. Fair enough. They told me that as the only female detective, it would be best to give me an extra space. Which trans translated to sticking me at the end of the hall. Hmm. What a morning. I'm exhausted. First, the bosses stun me out of violent crime, and then same movers are ahead of me, so everyone in the station knows about my demotion before me. What a mess. As if I wasn't going through enough already. At least with my public shaming, I doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. Gives me a chance to recruit and plan my next move. God freaking damn it! Kazuki gave me this silver hairpin for my birthday last year. Seems so long ago. Um. Oh, okay, the uh, you know the flashback of his uh, of her taking the uh, the bag. Look, I've been in this office for years now, quietly working my way into the boys' club to be respected as a detective. Look at it now. All that hard was shoved into some boxes to be handed off to whoever Brown knows their way into the promotion, no doubt. <laughs> Excuse me. Can't help but feel like my hard work wasn't worth anything all these years if it can be so easily packed away and forgotten. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Shakazel. But are you sure you want to continue watching because this might be a bit of a spoiler to you. Or you know you can play it, um the other pass. I heard that I heard from the developer that this game has like ten endings, so that might be okay. But still, look at the monitor. A new email is in my inbox from Yukimura. It looks like it's gone out to all detectives. Uh, Yukimura. Oh okay. Let's see, Detective Ito has been under a lot of pressure, the tragic loss of Tanaka has affected us all, I think I'll see where this is leading. And there it is, Ito will be temporarily resigned, so he did make it public, how oh, humiliating. Really nice, to see. really nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he hit send. Hmm, after all this time, why doesn't he believe me? Wait, what was it? Um, I didn't see the flashback. Ikimura doesn't believe me. I'm the laughing star of the station, and now I'm being moved out of face to top it off. Doesn't get much worse than this, but it's Ikimura that stinks the most. I thought I could trust him, but instead, he tells me to turn in my gun like I'm sort of criminal. Sitting around here isn't going to change anything. If they won't investigate, I will. First thing first. I need to get my hands back on that mask. Reina mentioned it over and over, and it's the only clue I have to go on. 
Yes! Finally! <laughs> I can handle that. Forensics gave the mask a once over and stuff it down in the basement. I should go down and scope it out. Okay, let's go down. Nothing here. Yo, the officer. Look. Officer Bando. The recent transfer from Osaka. It seems that Saki on the front desk is quite smitten with the guy. Hi, he must be the new transfer from Osaka. I'm Detective Ito. That's right, transfer. That's right, transferred me in last week. How you doing, Detective? Please call me Bando. You all have got a big station here. Embarrassed to say, I can never could find my way around the Tokyo branch all that well. I get myself lo lost half the time, to tell you the truth. So you must be the one that's all over the news. Oh, don't worry, I never could trust the press. None of them know a damn thing about police work. If you're asking me, and it sounded like you caught a rough one. Sorry about your partner. Thanks. Rough is in an understatement. Indeed. Enter Oliver. Okay, let's go to the basement. So I'm gonna turn in my gun and then we'll finish it there. Security camera watches the entrance to the locker twenty four seven. That's quick. Didn't you think you'll stick around down here after the big earthquake this morning? Didn't think she would stick around around down here after the big earthquake this morning, Mori. Ugh, don't remind me. I'm trying to keep my mind off it. How are you holding up, Detective? Taking it one day at a time, I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised to find you still working evidence. Then I could put in recommendations for your promotion. Yeah, I think the people upstairs have got other things on their mind right now from the sound of things. Besides, I think they stuck me down here because I was asking too many questions on my last case. May have pissed off a few of the wrong people. It makes me squirm thinking what it would be like being in a earthquake in this basement. I wish you hadn't reminded me. Oh, and I'm really sorry about Tanaka, Tito. I expect him a lot. He'll be true. He'll truly be missed. Thanks, I miss him too. I bet he's still alive. They get to the evidence from his lock, Mori has the key, but in desperate times, I've seen Tanaka cup pick the lock to get in. Um can I ask for him? Eh, Mori. Ah, I think I know how this is gonna work. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop it right here for now. Um, I'll be back in around 20 minutes. So, see you later, Shikaza. And whoever you are watching this stream. See ya.